light sensors. If there's more, more light uh, falling onto the right sensor, they will turn right. And if more light uh, falling on the left sensor, they will turn left. So it's exactly the same mechanism as ants. They, they just lay this trail behind them as they uh, navigate into the network. So mainly these robots here, their only task is to find the shortest way between, between their starting point and whatever target you're looking for into the network. So what is the fastest way to go from uh, point A to point B? By themselves, this robot, they would just move around and they would get lost. Then they might reach point B from point A, but just by chance. But by working together and allowing them to communicate through this, this like light trail that you see in the videos, the robots will prefer to go where other robots have been before. The, the whole is bigger than the sum of the parts. So you take all this, the parts together and they do their own little behavior in their own little corner. But then when they start interacting with each other, it creates something bigger than them. You can imagine, in terms of application, you can imagine having these robots uh, carrying material between different parts of a, uh, of a factory, of a plant. And you need to make sure you optimize I mean, the path they take so the material goes uh, faster from point A to point B. So by using this sort of self-organization, they, uh, they can actually find this, uh, uh, this path, even if the factory is a complex network of buildings and machines and things happening everywhere.